guys, let's get her done. Six years since his last production run on the outlaw side, including a year in jail, Tickle joins veteran outlaws Henry and Kenny as they prepare this season's first mash of their family's coveted peach brandy recipe. Really, it makes me feel good to get back out here into the woods. You know, it's almost a religious experience. I mean, just talking about it sends every hair on my body standing on end. Boy, them things is pretty, aren't they? Oh, yeah. This is, this is my favorite time of year, peach season. Oh, yes, sir. Peach brandy. Mm -hmm. And people know when we make it that it's the best. I'd much mm -hmm. rather reach on there and down and me a peach than with a handful of corn. This peach brandy recipe we've got been handed down for generations and generations. I mean, my father and his father taught him, you can't buy brandy like this. Yeah. You go to the ABC stores, they got nothing like this. Flavored this, flavored that. Yeah. When it comes to making peach brandy, Henry and Kenny really got this dialed in. This is something their family has been doing for a long time, and they're known for it around these parts. Five bushels to a 55-gallon barrel. When we run it, it's coming out of that worm just as thick. Nothing like peach brandy. Everybody loves peach brandy. The smell and the quality of the liquor, we look forward to it every year, and so does our customers. Man, look at these bees. Bees is already, already yeah. coming. Let's get them beat in and get the sugar in them and get out of here. When we look for our peaches, we contact the growers. When they're processing the peaches, if it's got a little bruise or something, by the time they ship it to wherever it goes, it's then rotted out. It's no good to them. So we get it at a cheaper price, maybe $5 a bushel. We pay $40 a box, there's no money left. This is how we do it. And we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. We've got to take a tube before we've got to beat these things up. Sounds good. Sounds good. Like what? Sounds like. Sounds like money. We always break ours up to a soup. Then it's all the yeast can get in there and work the sugars out of that peach, turn it into that alcohol. Got that brown pump pumping? Yeah. Look, that's got a pretty decent pressure on it. Now here's Dad's house. The place is empty. Let's go check things out. Seven counties to the northeast in Franklin County, Virginia, Henry, Kenny, and Tickle are returning to the home of Henry's recently deceased father, renowned moonshiner Amos Law. If I had to do it, well, I'd do it again. Yeah. Do it all over the same night. Yeah. Amos Law built one of the most extensive criminal moonshine syndicates in the U.S. The notorious outlaw spent six combined years in state jails and federal penitentiaries as he rose from still hand to kingpin over his six-decade career. A multi-year federal investigation alleged that between 1992 and 1997, Amos's moonshine rings produced nearly a half a million gallons of illegal shine, effectively depriving federal revenuers of $11.5 million. A proud custodian of his backwoods heritage, Amos Law dutifully handed down a lifetime's worth of moonshine knowledge to his son, Henry, before passing away at the age of 83. He had told me just a few months back, he said, you know, Henry, check my house, something happens to me. He must have felt it coming on. He was, you know, his health was getting a little bad. After he passed away, I got thinking about it more and more, and I'm almost bet you we're gonna find something. He, he kept a lot of stuff stashed. I do know a spot where he got some good brandy, I guarantee oh, yeah. it. I remember one time he raided the house, and uh, after the left, Daddy was grinning, he, he was laughing. He said, you know what? If he would only open this closet door, he said. <laughs> they found all kinds of stuff, wouldn't they? Yes, it was. Dad had these hidden spots in his closet there at the house. You go in, you reach up, up above the closet door. Oh, to, yeah? And there'd be a half a gallon of liquor. You can tell who made that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you know exactly who made that. Dad, is, that's all he ever did was, was moonshine. He loved it. You know, the one thing about finding a jar of good, a good liquor is to sample it. Yeah, you got to make sure. He never went to any ball games. You know, he never took us hunting, never took us fishing. And he was tough on us. But he was too busy trying to make a dollar to feed his three kids. Oh, man. All right. All right. Oh, Lord. Oh, I can already smell it. Smooth as can be. I tell you what, it's just something about me. I, I just don't got it in me to find a jar of brandy and not take a sip of it. Hold it again, hold it, hold it. Peach fuzz again. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, we were producing 13 to 14,000 gallons a month. He was selling every bit of it. So there's no telling what we may find today. It could be a stack of money, jewelry, it could be anything. He didn't believe in banks. He didn't trust banks. And uh, he made a pile of money, so I don't know what we might find. Will and testament for, for that's my, that's my will. 
I do not leave Henry anything at all. <laughs> he had so much paperwork, some wills, some uh, educational stuff where Daddy was in prison. Man, it's, it's, it's just like I said, it's a treasure show of stuff here. Yeah, you see that? Pictures. A, B, C. But the main reason we came out to Dad's house is because I finally tracked down a combination of that safe. We got this uh, safe here. We found it in the back, brought it in here, but I don't know what's in it. See. Good. I can't wait to find out exactly what's in it. That's 41 to the right, 5, out to the left, 44. I'm trying to get this thing open. It's not quite working. I just, I just don't know if this is a combination or not. Oh, man, we've hit the mother load here. Just look at the wallet. This ain't no wallet, so. Oh, got his name. Got his name on it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, right. That's real cool. Driver's license. It worked. We got it open. I see some nice looking stuff. Yes, yeah, sir. Some yeah, pearls or something. Good. I see some paperwork, affidavit stuff. Where Dad was in prison. What's this? Looks like a letter. Dear, dear Christine. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's writing a letter. In prison, he learned to, to write a little bit. This is really the only letter I've ever seen him write, and he wrote it to Mom. It looks like a storm is coming in. I should be at the camp in the next couple of weeks, so they had them in behind the walls. Wall. Yeah. Rough section. I hope to get to see you soon. I miss you a lot. I'll talk to you later. Man, that's cool. Man. Yeah, I love you. Man. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. It's almost a tear jerk, you know? That's stuff that, uh, that we'll hang on to forever. That's a 100% true letter right there. You know, y'all have been locked up just like I have. Those little things like that. That's what means so much when you're in the... Yes, it does. To get something like this is... That's unreal. Those letters while you're in jail, they're your only contact with the outside. That's your one last little bit of freedom that they can't take from you. Oh, yeah. Here we go, Grandpa. I remember seeing this bag. That's Grandpa's. Oh, oh yeah, that's... Oh, boy, that is an old one right yes, there. Yeah. My grandfather, he had this old gun, and he gave it to my dad. Smith & Wesson, mid-1800s. Uh -huh. Hold on, what's this? Ooh, yeah. That is. Yeah. That's all the connections. It's um, shine connections. Oh, look, look, look. He's got them alphabetized, oh. too. <laughs> Everyone in pages, he's flipping yeah. out those money. New Jersey, Philadelphia, Chicago. His customer list. It's a very important paper there. I'm really lucky to have that. I'm ready for another sip of brandy. It was such a rush finding all this stuff. It, it brings back a lot of good memories. He did good. He did good. You can learn a whole lot about a person by looking at their old possessions. Looking at Amos's possessions, family meant a lot to him, and moonshine meant a lot to him. We've already found a pretty good stash in Dad's house, but uh, he kept stuff in different buildings around his property. Yeah, you got a whole lot of buildings around here. You had to for what we kept hid. You never know what you're going to find, so that's where we're headed next. <laughs>